Hey everybody, welcome to the show. I'm your host Sandman. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Bare Bones Ultimate Lock Picking Kit. Let's get into it. Man, I've been wanting to do this review for a long time because I love Bare Bones tools. These are amazing tools and I have all of their products. I own every single one of their turning tools, every single one of their lock picks, everything. All of their cases, everything. I don't know if there's anything on their website that I do not own. I have so much stuff. Man, and thank you so much to Bare Bones because I've spent so much money on their website. I probably spent five or six hundred dollars on their on their product. And then he reached out to me in January and he's like, Hey, I've got some new product. You want me to send it out to you? I was like, Heck yes, thank you. Appreciate it. So I have no idea what he has sent me. I can't differ differentiate what he has sent me compared to what I've purchased, but I would suspect I've probably purchased four fifths of everything on my own. And he was like kind enough to be like, Hey, there's this last small percentage of things that you don't have yet. And I was like, cool, thanks. So some things I review of Bare Bones was given to me for review. Some things I just purchased with my hard-earned money. That's great about purchasing from Bare Bones is that exchange rates cools. When, when we're looking at something like this ultimate lock picking kit for $115 Australian, I don't remember if, if that's like GDP or something like that. I don't remember what the Australian dollar is but it's essentially $75 USD. That's what it is. I forgot to write that out here. I apologize. Typically, I have all my ducks in a row and I'm like, all right, here's the Australian, here's the European, you know, the Euro, and here's the British pound, and here's the American, but I'm an idiot. So we'll just have to move along from here. So let's get started. This is the ultimate lock picking kit for $115. Uh, Australian or about $75 USD. So you're looking at about $100 if you include shipping. So the product description, this is the complete range in one purchase. We have the Molly Everyday Carry, the Molly Everyday Carry case. We have the Top of Keyway Heavy Bar set here. We have the Top of Keyway Bar set right here. And we have the Bottom of Keyway Bar set right here. And that includes the little Zed Wrench guy right here. So we have the hook, the rake, Let's just talk about that. So we have, uh, well, they're all kind of mixed up. So I have 15 thousandths and I have, uh, excuse me, 15 thousandths is the white handle, 23 thousandths is the black handle. That's what makes this set super awesome. And this is a really good price. I highly recommend this set, not only for the tool still, which we'll talk about, but I love that they have your core group of tools in 23 thou. And then when you hit those highly paracentric keyways, you can bust out the 15 thousandths right here to finish the job. I really like that. Let's talk about what is inside of these sets. So in 23 thousandths and in 15 thousandths, we are going to have a short hook, a gem hook, a half diamond, a deforest half diamond, an S rake, we have a W rake or kinetic rake. We have a Bogota and then we have our city rake or L rake. And I absolutely love these coffin type handles. They, they just, they're so comfortable. They're a little bit larger than a Peterson manufacturing handle and about closer to Jimmy Long's. They also still fit my picking station here with all my other bare bones tools. I have so much of their stuff. I love collecting their stuff. Let's talk about uh, the price. Who is this? Who's this set for? Well, this set is definitely going to be between going, going to be between Timothy and Tim. And that is amazing for everything that you're getting here. You're getting all of the turning tools that you could possibly need. You're getting all of the lock picks you can need in, in a dual gauge, which is what some people would call it. You're getting a really decent pick case. And we're going to talk about that here in a second. You're getting a lot. And it's only like $75 USD. Or if you're in Australia, as we talked about, 115. So you're in the Tim category, and I think that's perfectly adequate for that. This is for the professional. This is for locksmiths. This is for lock sport enthusiasts. This is just, I really like it. The steel is 301 high yield stainless steel, which is the strongest tool steel on the market. The handles, they're not uh, 3D printed. It's some other uh, name for it. I did a whole review on just bare bones in general, the whole website. It's like a 45 minute long video. I recommend it if you are sitting down, you're picking locks and you wanna listen to an idiot talk for uh, forever, then do that. These things have a really nice polish on them. Um, the variety is there. They have traditional profiles and modern profiles and they have really great quality control. Now these handles 
are just glued on to the picks. So sometimes, so this is the pick by itself, that bare bones look very similar to what you're going to see from uh, Mad Bob's that has been discontinued. Also very similar to what you're going to see from Dangerfield, who collaborated with Mad Bob's on this particular design for his, I think it was called the Ghost Pro and the Praxis and all that other stuff. So similar in that in the handle, but the pick profile and shank is completely different and unique only to bare bones that is one number two is he uh, i really love that he provides gym hooks there's very few people that actually provide gym hooks which is my favorite profile i love that profile so much that i had to bother moki out of germany to make one of those profiles available so i love the peterson style gym hook and they they went wild with those gym hooks and they offer the, the largest range and selection of gym hooks across all of the lockpick manufacturers in the world, believe that or not. So let's talk about their pick steel. These are 301 high yield stainless steel and it is the strongest pick steel on the market to date as of 2024. We are in 2024 now. So we do see grade five titanium uh, pick steel and that's really great for having lock picks that uh, cannot be detected by metal detectors and they're also corrosion resistant so really great for navy seals and you know force recon marines that need to travel with a small little bogota kit that they can go into the water in salty environments or it's something you can keep in your pocket and not have to worry about it picking up any oils or rust and then we have 301 full hard which is pretty much an industry standard uh, for affordable lock picks and then we have 1095 high carbon which is is a, a, a tool still that's been used for like 50 years. And that can be all over the place depending on the manufacturing uh, process there. So who, we, we really don't, can't not put, it just depends on the manufacturer of where that's gonna be. Then we have 420 stainless steel, which is one of my favorites, uh, uh, second to high yield. I love 420. Um, I use um, a multi-pick is around a 400 series stainless steel. Peterson Manufacturing is a 400 series stainless steel. And that's very similar to our 301, but 301 is the king right now for the strongest. So if you are a beginner, I highly recommend 301 high yield stainless steel. If you are advanced, you can still use 301 high yield or you can move into the 400 series stainless steel. I rarely, if ever, probably never recommend 301 full hard. There's a lot of great companies. I think they make budget lock pick sets. They're, they're wonderful companies, but I try to stay in this range right here. And I, I do like to play around with these guys too. I do see some really great tools like uh, the Lockmaster Jackknife tool in 1095. So you can get away with really great tools here um, at the 1095. But that being said, these are best estimates at best, but we are looking at 280,000 pounds a square inch of ultimate tensile strength with that 301 high yield. That is super freaking strong. So where does this put these tools? I absolutely love these tools. They are 100% tier one, best of the best, high quality, high functionality, and transparency. I love it when a company is willing to talk about their tool steel and you don't have to pull it out of them like pulling teeth out of an alligator. So these are absolutely tier one. And just to try to support that opinion of them being tier one, here's a list of every current modern manufacturer in the entire world to include China, US, UK, Germany, Australia, everything. Uh, this is my lockpick collection that I'm slowly building. I only have eight more pick sets that I need to procure out of 28. And I actually have a total of 50 unique pick sets, but uh, representing from a total of 20 manufacturers here. We have discontinued lockpicks. We have all the resellers from uh, American lockpick manufacturers. And then we have the mega list. And at the mega list at number one, just because I alphabetized everything, we have bare bones Australia 301 high yield tier one. There are only, oh, how many is it? Eight, four, eight. So we have eight tier one companies one of them being a reseller. So there's only seven individual uh, tier one companies in the entire world out of 28 companies that are currently active. So bare bones is number is, is well, could be number one. Somebody's number one. It's probably my number one. Bare bones is in the top seven of the lockpick manufacturers in the world. I would probably put it in my top three, if not top two, if not top one. I love bare bones. In all the tier ones are Bare Bones, Covert Instruments, Dangerfield, Jimmy Longs, Lalock Tools, Moki, and Multi Pick. All of these manufacturers have one thing in common, and that is they use either 400 series stainless steel like Multi Pick or they use 301 high yield. However, just because you use 
a high quality steel doesn't mean you're going to get on my tier one list because Peterson manufa Manufacturing uses 400 series stainless steel and they're tier, tier, tier two because they have terrible quality control, terrible customer service, and they are the most expensive tools on the market. So they're gobbledygook. So it's actually hard to get, make this list and Bare Bones is absolutely at the top of my list. So they're a quality company. I love the company. Um, I don't know what else there is to add to this other than how much I love the tools. Uh, we do have, let's talk about these bars here. So these bars, these are the bottom of Keyway bar set and they actually went with Z bars for these. These are actually used primarily for dimple lock picking, but I, I love that they've decided to break out of that mold and say, you know what? You could also use these for bottom of Keyway. I need a little bit more time to play around with these. I've never considered that. I normally use them for dimple locks because dimple locks have ginormous Keyways that you could just throw a whole pick case down through and then it'll pick open itself. Just kidding, they are hard. But I love that they thought out of the box and like, eh, we'll throw these in. I love that they have a Zed wrench. So here's the deal of a Zed wrench. These are also known as piano wire from the guys from the 80s and the 90s. They call this a piano wire. So they would take a thick piano wire and they would manufacture it in one of two ways. Either they would flatten it or they would file it or actually a third way, flatten it and file it. Um, depending on who you talk to, will tell you which way is the correct way. I don't have a dog in that fight. I didn't start picking locks till 2007, but these guys from the 80s and the 90s swear by these tools. And what's cool is you get uh, essentially here, uh, so you have, I can pick in this direction with my thumb counterclockwise right here, or I can pick clockwise in this ergonomic fashion right here. That's really what the Z wrench is for. The other benefit of having a Z wrench um, or what I would call a, um, a, I would call this a, a, a piano wire. Some people say, but Sandman, it's not in a, <laughs> Sandman, ah! No, this is, this is a piano wire, but this is just a modern day piano wire. Um, in my opinion, some people call them Zed wrenches. And I probably, there's probably, someone's like, well, actually a Zed wrench is this. Maybe I got that wrong, but I, I could have sworn that this is what people are calling a Zed wrench. I used to call it a piano wire before I knew the term Zed wrench. And I think Zed wrench is a term that's being used in the UK and piano wire may be an American term. I don't know. Somebody can just yell at me in the comments and go, Sandman, you're wrong. But here's the benefit of this. These things are crazy freaking strong. I don't think I could bend this with my hand strength if I tried. If I tried right here, I don't know if I could bend this. That's what I love about these. I keep one of these in my everyday carry kit because there may be a time where you're like, you know what? I just need 50,000 pounds of turning force on my lock to be able to get something to freaking bind. This is what that is for, honestly. That's what it's for. But you can also, like I showed you, pick clockwise and counterclockwise with that. With the top of Keyway Heavy Bar set, we have 40 thousandths and 50 thousandths. And with the uh, top of Keyway um, Bar set, uh, right here, we have a gamut of everything from like, I think it's like 25 or 28 thou to uh, about 40 thou. And then we have the unique ones where you got a flat bar and a curved bar. That's just personal preference on if you're going to use that for bottom of keyway or not. And, you know, if you have recess locks or not. One of the cool takeaways from this, though, uh, these top of key keyway bars, if you're new here, if you don't know what top of keyway is, top of keyway is where I'm taking that tool and I'm putting it at the top right here. I like this style of flat bar right here where it sits flush because the closer you can get to that lock, the better your feedback is going to be. You don't want to have this tool sitting way out here. You're not going to have any control over this turning tool when you start hitting security pins like, like spool pins and whatnot. You want this guy to be sitting as flush as possible up against that lock. And, you know, as long as it's not creating, uh, you know, like unwanted feedback, that's ideally what you want to do. And I love that it's flexible because it makes it a little bit more ergonomic in my hand. And I, I personally like flexible ones because when they're stiff and you're using top of keyway and you're dealing with spool pins, this tool is going to jump out of your hand every time you hit a spool. But when they're flexible, it absorbs some of that uh, counter rotation. So I do like this tool for that. I love all of their turning tools. Let's talk about the case real quick. I'm going to talk about some of their other products that are not in this set and then we'll wrap this video up. So let's talk about this case. So this case, believe it or not, is actually a really good case. I have been seeing a lot of pictures on Instagram where people are taking Maxpedition cases, which are kind of like overpriced, you know, overbuilt uh, pouches like this with the elastic, you know, whatever on, you know, ballistic nylon, you know, Kodora, blah, blah, blah. Um, 
So there, it's all tactical, especially here in America, since we've been in war with the entire world for the last 25 years. Um, we have so much nylon goods in America and Maxpedition pretty much carries that torch for that stuff. The difference between this and Maxpedition is one key thing that you guys would probably not notice unless you spend too much money on all this hobby stuff like I do. The right side of a Maxpedition pouch the new ones, this elastic panel is sideways, which is dumb as hell because I can't fit long tools in there. I have to have short tools and it doesn't make sense. So I purchased a couple Maxpedition pouches and I hated it. So when I got this pouch, a week after I returned the Maxpedition pouches, I was like, huh, wow, they, say, they, they freaking read my mind because I love that I could put tools here. I would ideally put lock picks on the left side here and then I would, yeah, I would just stack up lock picks, you know, different, uh, I would put a plug spinner here. I'd put my lock picks here. And then on this side, I would put maybe like an impressioning handle, or maybe I would put a, um, I don't know, like, uh, my mind's drawn. I'm like, <laughs> I'd put so many things right here. Uh, I'd probably put like a Leatherman or something like that. Something I'm going to use on the job, but I can't, my mind's drawn a blank because it depends on what your job is. If I was urban exploring, the tools that I would be carrying would be like a flashlight, okay, maybe a spare batteries, you know, things like that. But if I was a locksmith, I probably wouldn't have a flash. I'd probably have like a headlamp, maybe. Um, if I was a uh, if I was a commercial locksmith, I'd just be working nine to five. But if I was doing lockouts, then I probably would do, I would have a headlamp. But it just depends on what you want in here. This is a good case. I like the case. It's a great case. Um, this is a patch that's a little bit different from the website. I don't know if they're using the blue one or this tactical one. Either way, I love it. And I just love all this stuff. Every time I look at my bare bones tools, I immediately have the minute work song stuck in my head. I come from the London down under. Does anybody else have that problem? I have that fucking problem. It's a huge problem. I collect all of their turning tools. I love their turning tools and I love that the turning tools are color coded. I highly recommend that if you buy this set, just go to their turning tool section and buy every single one of their turning tools. It'll probably be like 10, 15, 20 bucks for everything. Because if you do, you're gonna come across cool oddities like this guy. So this is a, a double-ended, oh, what's it called? It's a shutter, uh, uh, shutter turning. Oh man, I can't even remember what it is. But this is for those shutter locks. Sometimes you have shutter locks that have a spring-loaded shutter like you see on vehicles. But you know what else you can use this on? Those crazy small luggage locks, those crazy small luggage locks that you can't fit a turning tool in. But you can get these in typically and you can slip a rake in and rake that little guy. That's why I bought this for. These I, I, These are a blast from the past. These things were real popular like 40 years ago and people have started to forget about them, but they come in handy so much. The other thing I would purchase is, man, off the top of my head, I can't remember them, but they have these really cool uh, top of keyway uh, bars here and they are like dog-eared here. Man, I don't remember the name of this. I'm gonna be doing a whole review just on these because the guy that invented them is super smart, smarter than me. I can't remember. They have the ulna and radial bones. I like these for raking. These things are stupid strong. These are probably the strongest, most, oh man, even though there's a double flex here, these things are super rigid. I just, I, the words can't uh, cannot describe how robust these things are if you want if you're a big fan of raking and you rake in the field and you just want to slip this into a freaking lock and destroy that lock and open it these these are going to do that for you i love those and they also have this really cool painting tray here with the bare bones like carved into it that's so cool i don't know how they do that it's just a piece of rubber and i think it's like adhesive back here yeah three millimeter and so I don't know what's going on here. It's not sticky. Maybe I'm just an idiot. Yeah, I'm just an idiot. Okay, don't tell anybody. But yeah, so anyways, this is perfectly fine for just uh, to, for for doing your quick little, uh, uh, you know, gutting jobs. Maybe you're, maybe you're testing through the karate belt ranking system and you're going from white belt to black belt there and you have to gut your locks to be able to get your green belt and up so this is perfect for that man this i don't even remember this is like a buck or something i don't know i'm probably wrong it's probably a hundred dollars but it's worth it because it's bare bones and as you guys know you guys need to tell and spread the world sandman picks with the bones that's right sandman picks with the bones 
I don't have anything else to add to this, my friends. I'm going to be doing more reviews, probably about one a week for the next, I don't know, five, six, eight weeks, 20 weeks, forever, forever, forever. I'm going to be doing the gym hook set, which is one of my favorite sets of tools. I love it. I love the handle. I don't know what it is, but I love green handles. And I'm going to be doing a review of their dimple picks and uh, the three fingers. And I'll be doing a review of their beginner set. I think they have an intermediate set. I have all the tools. I have all the tools. So I'm going to be doing a lot of reviews over the coming weeks. But I don't want to do, I don't want to burn you guys out on bare bones. So I'm just going to do one review a week with them. If I take a week off, bare bones, I didn't forget about you. I'm sorry. I'm just busy with life. And the, the neighbor's dog has been barking for nine hours today. So hopefully you guys didn't pick that up. Anyways, I don't know what else to add to this set. Um, bare bones does offer. So my favorite, my favorite pocket pick set is, um, is the covert instruments, slim pickings. Okay. What's cool is bare bones makes handles for the slim pickings or the covert companion. They're just those key smart handles. That's crazy cool. I may put one together at some point and, and make a video. I don't know. I haven't decided, but bare bones, they have so many products. They have like 30 pages on their website. Go over there when your girlfriend or boyfriend or significant other or your dog is asleep next to you in bed and it's 3 a.m. and you can't sleep and you're watching too many Sandman videos. Go over to bare bones website and just start perusing through the website and look at all the cool stuff that you want to buy. And then, you know, don't listen to the trolls. Hey, you don't need that. It's excess. You don't need that. What are you doing? Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Just go buy all the bare bones, my friends. That's all I have for today. I am not rich. I'm irresponsible, and I'm probably on some Ritalin. Just kidding. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you use bare bones? Are you down with the bones? Are you down with the bone man? Um, let me know if you use bare bones. Are you in Australia and use bare bones? Are you located somewhere else in the world and still dig bare bones? I love bare bones. And that's all I have for today. I'm going to go now and I will catch you guys next time. Mr.